Audience feedback played an extremely important role to us when brainstorming and developing our storyline of our teaser trailer, our poster and magazine cover. The first thing we'd done was create a questionnaire. This gave us a clear understanding of what genres people liked the most. To make sure our results weren't biased in any shape or form, we used 20 males and 20 females. If we chose to use one gender, then one genre may stand out more as males are more into action and females tend to be more interested in romance. So it was important we got results from both genders. Another question we asked was what age the people taking the survey were and what genre they preferred. We found out that crime and thriller was the most popular genre, so we decided to base our cheeser trailer on that. To make it appeal to a wider audience, we added an element of romance which helped to create more suspense. This made us change our initial idea from doing a horror film as this was voted for the least which indicates our audience did not want this genre. In order to get relevant answers, we made sure the questions were closed so we got the feedback we needed. If the questions were open, the feedback may not be as relevant. Mr Goddard and Mr Williamson, our media teachers, were very honest and gave constructive criticism about what they liked and what he thought we needed to improve as a group. This feedback was extremely valuable because they pointed out some faults and poor shots we as a group had not recognised. Our media class helped to evaluate our film trailer once it was completed. They gave us feedback in the form of an interview and were impressed by, vari by the variety of shots and other techniques we used. They also gave us improvements which ranged from the location to the transition of our different shots. Um, after watching our trailer, what do you think we could improve regarding mise-en-scene, editing, camera and sound? Uh, firstly, let me talk about your sound. Mm -hmm. uh, I think your sound was really good. Uh -huh. As in, when you started like, showing like, how intense the thing was getting, you can see the sound was getting faster, which, faster. Is really, which is really good. So, I think sound-wise, I think it was suited to the genre. So okay. I think that was good. And um, camera shots. Yeah, there was a lot of range of camera shots used. Medium shots, close range. A lot of good shots that showed scene. Mm -hmm. So in that sense, yeah, the camera shots are good. Uh, what do you think? We could have, was there anything we could have improved on? Uh, improved on? Uh, As in like setting? Yeah, yeah maybe a location. Room. Maybe a bit like a better location would be better. A better location, yeah. Because yeah. throughout the, the trailers, a lot of them the houses, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. So maybe I don't know, somewhere else, maybe. Like an office or yeah. somewhere different. Yeah. Somewhere to represent the room. Okay, and um, what would you say about editing? <laughs> Uh, uh, the editing was really good, yeah, as in when the scene was getting intense, mm -hmm. you could see the fast cuts, mm -hmm. and then when it was in the beginning, it was a bit slower. Slower, yeah. After watching our trailer, what do you think we could improve regarding mise-en-scene, editing, camera and sound? Well, I thought the uh, use of mise-en-scene was very effective because you had the characters in costume mm -hmm. to suit their characteristics, but um, I thought the use of uh, camera work was kind of weak because of the fact that it was shaking at the beginning, but then Towards the end of the, uh, the trailer, it was more stable. Okay. Um, also, I thought uh, the use of credits was put in at too early for my liking because it should have been happening when action was kicking in because it would have been like power, power. And also, uh, the transitions, it suited well with the, with the, the genre. Editing, yeah. yeah, the editing. The sounding, I mean, the transition suited well within with the genre because it was flashy and it was action and you had gunshots and stuff. So it, it flowed well. Uh, also, sound, I thought the music was well used because it started off with a slow tempo and then when the story switched up and the problem occurred, the tempo split up. The tempo built up. Watching our trailer, what do you think we can improve regarding mise en scene, editing, camera, and sound? Um, I like that the storyline begins straight away and there's both dialogue and voiceover and a lot of characters involved, especially females, regarding the mise en scene. Um, I like that there's a lot of props that establish the genre. For example, the gun and the cocaine, which I thought was really interesting. However, um, I think that the location could be improved because it doesn't, we aren't really sure what's going on. It doesn't really establish the genre. Okay. But overall, I really liked it and I would watch it in the cinema. All right, thanks a lot. After watching our trailer, what do you think we could improve regarding mise-en-scene, editing, camera and sound? Um, well, what I did like about your trailer was that um, the storyline flowed really well uh -huh. and I understood what was going on, which was quite good. But the only thing that I thought you could improve was the sound. 
because at the beginning especially because it was kind of slow and dreary compared to what your storyline was. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the location could have been better. Uh, why do you think the location could have been better? <laughs> just you tell it was in Hounslow. Okay. It wasn't really thought about as much as it possibly could. All right, cool. What about our editing? Your editing skills are really well. I, I think they were good. Did it flow in all right? Yeah. yeah. Due to audience feedback and evaluations, our film trailer looked and transitioned extremely different to the original. We have also gained feedback from social networking sites such as Facebook. I uploaded our trailer which received many likes and positive comments. Audience feedback has played a very important role as it has influenced everything we have done and changed. When it came to developing our magazine, we were unsure about the colours and fonts, so we kept brainstorming to find a suitable match. We ended up using a mid-shot which consisted of two characters in our movie, Curtis and Johnny. Our media teachers were quite impressed with our first draft, so we didn't have to change many things. One thing he did want us to improve was the font size, as it was a bit too big and took up much too much space. Once our magazine was finished to a high standard, we asked for audience feedback and constructive criticism from our class and teachers. People thought it was, a, people thought it was good and worked well. They also thought we used Photoshop exceptionally well and thought our image went well with our genre. Our final poster looked good and our media teachers were generally impressed with it. However, we did receive some constructive criticism. We felt that Curtis Warren, the, char the character on the right, should have been facing the other way. We decided to flip him around, but he ended up looking better the original way. 